from Camilla from Italy. She's definitely surprised us for being in that same league as a couple of our top contenders, Miho and Petra. So it might be a very close call tonight between our athletes. She reached or she has to finish to be able to be uh, founded for the marking. Uh, no, she needs to go to the top. To the top. Okay. Well done, we are well, we'll be bringing on our next athlete. Fifth athlete of the evening. She got to the we have Petra Klingler from Switzerland. Petra Klingler from Switzerland. Please give it up for her generation climb. And she grew up climbing, she says, with her brother, her parents, and her grandparents. She recently qualified for a few athletes taking part in the men's and women's competition that will be looking to take part in the Athens Olympics next year. The facts some of them have qualified already, yet to be confirmed. So there's a name that's to the Olympics 2020. <laughs> Top. Of course, 
que es Julián, para un competidor es súper Did the first lady she finish? Eh, no, no. One more. Only one woman. Only one more. Uh. From Japan. Okay. No, the first one. The lady yeah. number one. She finished the top. Anybody go top? No, any anything. Nobody. Yeah. especially Japanese, Japanese designer Naomi Watanabe. The target is known as the greatest climber, she says, in the world. A lot of potential there for Miho Nanako, who is worth tackling at the Benji number one. And that's the aim is to get past that zone in the first two minutes. Come on, Venga, Miho! Come on, Miho! Some of the athletes 
to shake up their hands before they start or even during the crime. And that's just to let the blood flow through to stop the pumping of the arms and the hands of them. Just to help the blood to return back, especially if they've had a few tough moves. They need a strong there, one broke too. Let's go. A 19 year old has been doing really well in the bouldering, need and speed. The types of skills that you need there for different types of climbing. You'll notice some of the groups require small, careful, thought out movements. The balance. Let's cheer on Asuka there, she's not going long there.
Lily Kiesgen from Germany. And Lily will be back on the wall. Let's cheer on Lily. Let's give it up for Lily Kiesgen yeah. from Germany. Yeah. <laughs> First one to tackle ball number three here. See how she can take it on this route. We saw on the ball to some very subtle adjustments and some dynamic moves we're seeing here. Very tough. <laughs> Thank you. 
makes it so much tougher. It's a tough ball in front of you there.
Ponte el que se ve más entre familiar with climbing, imagine trying to hang upside down a bit like Superman, but on a wall that's slanted outwards with an incline and gravity is trying to pull you down. There are some moves that you can do to allow you to stay on to that wall for a little bit longer, like keeping your arms straight. The idea is not to have your arms bent and not use too much arm power. You can see some of our athletes are swinging their arms, shaking those arms to allow the blood to flow back. If your arms get a little bit too tight, it can make it very difficult to train the These climbers, of course, have mastered these moves. We're always up for a very tricky challenge. I think that's what the roots have to say they were aiming to do to make it difficult. One that requires all sorts of skills. And we need to get past that starting position. You don't know. We're 
Switzerland. And we have one more athlete to go. Is he a cracker? That was a tough group we just saw there. Yes, one, one, no, two. We are there trying two to finish. make sure that two. ball is ready for our next athlete. Let's welcome on Miho Nanaka from Japan. Miho Nanaka is about to attempt the fourth and last to go down next here for Miho. She's the final athlete here to take part on this last bowl of the women's final competition here in Qatar. So far she's shown some incredible agility and some incredible powerful dynamic moves. Determined and very focused. Look at the upper strength there, that's a tough move we've been seeing. One that not all our athletes were able to get through that easy, but is Miho going to be able to compete with her competitor there, Petra? It's a close call between the two. She's still, she's managed to get past that, so almost like one part of that hurdle that she's managed to complete. So nice big chalk flag there. Sometimes it's worth spending that extra little time to look at that route as she makes her way up. She's managed to figure out that starting point. That's the starting point that she's picked up. She's gone past onto the zone hole. Just a little bit midway. We've seen some fantastic